Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And today I'm going to be bringing you a Heaven Unigen benchmark with Ubuntu 14.04 versus Windows 8. This time I'm doing something a bit different though. I'm going to be using a GeForce 9400 GT NVIDIA card. Now in previous videos that I've done, people have claimed that using the 680, of course you're going to see frame for frames uh, when you're running Ubuntu or Windows 8. They, they claim that there is no difference. They say if you really want to see the difference, try and drop in an older card. So here I have the 940 GT, which is from 2008. This is the first NVIDIA card I've ever bought. Alright, the second one was the 680. Previously I only had been an AMD fan. So as you can see, this is a pretty old card, very small PCB. The fan and heatsink are also relatively small to the actual card that I have. VGA, DVI, and a TV port which I do not use. So this is one of the middle range cards available from the NVIDIA 9 series back then. I think it retailed locally for RM100 or 200, something along those lines. So in this test, I'm going to be running Unigine with these settings. Now you'll note that it's not 1080 uh, 1080p settings, it's 1280 by 720p. This card is unable to handle the 1080p resolution because it only has 512 MB of DDR2 RAM on board. So now we're starting up the benchmark. Alright, I'm going to be recording the lower right corner of frames per second this time because it doesn't jump as much. So as you can see, we start off with about 10 frames per second on each. Now remember this is running at 720p uh, resolution. As you can see this is a pretty old card. So the, the, the card itself on both systems is struggling to run this benchmark. Alright, we come up to this port, part, goes up to 11 frames per second, not really much difference. In between both of them we are seeing somewhere about 0 0.5, 0 0.6, frames per second difference between either system. Now I am quite impressed with this because this is a six-year-old card, yet Nvidia's driver still supports it till this day, not just on Windows but on Linux as well. So as you can see on the screen itself, both systems are chugging along. You can actually see the uh, delay in processing the frames on the screen. Now I'm recording both screens using a Canon uh, SX50HS camera so it is not eating up any of the resources of the system. What you're seeing is the monitor being recorded from a camera. We are still seeing along the lines of 10 to 11 frames per second. This is with tessellation off, uh, shadows anti-aliasing, no shadows are on, Anti-aliasing is disabled. What's impressive here isn't just that the NVIDIA drivers still support this old card on both systems. It's also the fact that Unigine's engine seems to run pretty much sim similar on both systems. It means they really pushed hard to make sure that their the Linux support is not far behind their Windows support. So here we're seeing about a 0.3 difference in frames per second which really is insignificant at this point in time considering the playable frame rates would be 30 frames per second and above anything below that is almost unworthy when I brought the resolution down to 800 by 600 I believe I was able to reach 20 frames per second but even then that was pushing it so this middle range card from 2008 really does struggle with new games. If you have a card from 2008-2009 which is a middle or low end card, please upgrade. Do yourself a favor. The newer cards are a lot stronger, less power hungry and less uh, less hot I would say. They don't produce as much heat. So while running this, the fan on the Nvidia card was spinning like crazy. Even though it was small, I could hear it. It was pushing itself to keep itself cool. Still 11 frames per second. 
So regardless of the scene, the amount of lights or the models that Unigine throws at it, we are still seeing it at about 10 to 11 frames per second. If you're interested in seeing this card run some of the source games, let me know. If I can get it up and running in, with those games, I might as well give it a go and try one of the previous demos that I've done before. The easiest to benchmark is of course the Unigen benchmarks like Valley, Heaven, because it's simply set up, run, and you're good to go. Source Engine games are a bit harder, I believe I ran into some ST3C errors uh, with this card. Once again, we're still seeing about 10 to 11 frames per second on either system, no matter what scene we change to or what direction or lighting there is. So while it looks like gaming is really pushing it for this card, this card was able to render 1080p video, so watching 1080p movies is good on it. Running the Ubuntu interface was also pretty good using it. So here we have the final test scores, and they are 11 frames per second on average for both systems. Literally 0 0.3 frames per second difference, uh, Windows leading by 0 0.3, which is hardly a feat. So this is just some additional footage of me taking out my desktop system and pulling out the humongous GTX 680 and then putting in the 940 GT. So that is it pretty much for this Unigine Heaven benchmark. As you can see, even with the older cards, NVIDIA have worked very hard to make their drivers run almost exactly the same as they do on Windows. So even if I'm running a 680 or I'm running a 940 GT, I'm going to be seeing almost frame for frame uh, performance on either Ubuntu or Windows. Now is that the case for the open source drivers? No, not yet. The NVIDIA open source drivers are the... I believe you can say they are the number one driver to be lagging behind amongst all other available kinds of drivers, whether from Intel or AMD. If you feel I have made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments down below. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching.